In this section, we're still talking about some advanced tools for Rhino. As you can see, we have left over our alien head type shape from the splitting and blending tutorial section. Right now, what I'd like to talk to you about is meshes, and specifically some more techniques for point editing in meshes. This is a poly surface. So first, we need to turn it into a mesh from NURBS object, which we can also do by using our mesh tool here. So you can see the number of polygons is closer to the fewer side. That's, that looks good. We'll press OK. Then press the delete key to delete our original. Let's have a look. OK, there's our mesh. Now let's turn on control points. Now if I wanted to grab some of these points and specifically do some editing, a lot of them are hard to see because there's so many. Well, what if I wanted to, for example, pull the face of this thing straight outward. Easy enough, I just draw a square, select those points, and pull. But you'll notice that also stretches the mesh here. Let's undo that. Another way to do that would be to scale one-dimensionally. Start here at the back, and go out. Now you can see there's not quite as much stretching. It stretches all the way around, sort of equally. However, if I wanted to be more specific about the points that I select, selecting them one by one, as you can see, would take forever. I could try to draw squares, but that's pretty difficult when there's so many. So what I'm going to do zoom down here and select a single point that one right there on the end of his nose then I'll go to edit control points select control points connected now let's take a look at what happens every time I right click it actually adds to my selection as you can see It adds one step by expanding your selection, selecting every other control point connected to the current control points that you already have selected. So now you can see that I have a mass type object selected. It's like our little fellow is wearing a mask, a surgical mask or something. I can go and bend. I can scale, and as you can see here, because these points were not connected to these, I create a gap in my mesh. So it almost looks like I have a mouth here. So let's undo that. Another way to work with points, if I select these, I could go to Edit, Control Points, Select Control Points, Invert. That will select the remaining points, everything that I hadn't selected. Edit, Control Points, Hide Points. Now I've just got the face to work with. I can go back, edit, control points, show points, and I have the whole thing. Now let's go to Tools, Polygon Mesh, Weld. Angle Tolerance 10, that should be fine. I'll press Enter. Turn on my points again. This time I'm going to select a few nose points, edit, control points, select, connected. And now notice the difference. Rather than going for a mask shape, it's spreading in all directions. The reason is when I use my weld tool, it has welded all of the seams in the mesh. In other words, all these points are now connected. So if I select something like the mask type shape we had before, move it, you'll notice rather than getting a mouth type thing going on, the entire face stretches. Transform, bend, and the same thing. And that's because of our weld tool.